I was born for a storm, and a calm does not suit me. It is to be regretted, that the rich and powerful too often bend the acts of government to their own selfish purposes. When you get in debt you become a slave. Any man worth his salt will stick up for what he believes right. But it takes a slightly better man to acknowledge instantly, and without reservation that he is in error. Peace, above all things, is to be desired, but blood must sometimes be spilled to obtain it on equable and lasting terms. When the time for action arrives, stop thinking and go in. There are no necessary evils in government. Its evils exist only in its abuses. But you must remember, my fellow citizens, that eternal vigilance by the people is the price of liberty, and that you must pay the price if you wish to secure the blessing. The Supreme Court has made its decision, now let them enforce it. In a free government, the demand for moral quality should be made superior to that of talents. The great can protect themselves but the poor and humble require the arm and shield of the law. No free government can stand without virtue in the people, and a lofty spirit of partiatism. I am one of do not believe that a national debt is a national blessing but rather a curse to a republic, inasmuch as it is calculated to raise around the administration of money the aristocracy dangerous to the liberties of the country. The planter, the farmer, the mechanic, and the laborer, form the great body of the people of the United States. They are the bone and sinew of the country men who love liberty and desire nothing, but equal rights and equal laws. Equality of talents, of education, or of wealth cannot be produced by human institutions.